What up, what up, what up? Thanks for tuning in to Comic Sound. I'm Dylan Jumps, and today I'm giving my spoiler-free review of Sonic 2. Uh, right from the jump, I just want to say that I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, it was entertaining all the way through, and uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about the movie. For anyone who's unfamiliar, Sonic is a hedgehog that runs really fast, so pretty much like The Flash. He's originally a video game character, and this is the second installment of the live-action adaptation of the video games. And so in this movie, we are introduced to Tails, which is the longtime ally of Sonic in the comics. We're also introduced to Knuckles, who has been an antagonist in the Sonic video games as well as an ally at times. And I didn't know this before I saw the movie, but Knuckles is actually voiced by Idris Elba. Uh, and I think he did a really good job. Knuckles is kind of, kind of gives off Drax the Destroyer vibes, um, who is the character that Dave Bautista plays in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And uh, I just, I, I thought, I, I really liked Knuckles as a character. If you grew up playing the games, you know, as far back as Sega Genesis and then even moving into the more three-dimensional games uh, into the present, uh, then you're, you're really going to like this. Uh, I, I definitely did. Um, I, I'll say everything that I wanted to happen in the movie happened, and it was just awesome to see in a, in a live-action uh, CGI hybrid. Jim Carrey uh, in the role of Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman. Uh, he's just, he was a great cast for that. Uh, honestly, when I first heard that Jim Carrey was going to be playing Dr. Robotnik in the first movie, I wasn't sure about it just because, I mean, he definitely didn't have the aesthetic of Dr. Robotnik. Uh, they did a little bit to change that in this movie, but obviously Dr. Robotnik was a bit of a rotund individual and so uh, Jim Carrey is definitely not that but as far as his performance he's just super goofy uh, I was laughing at pretty much everything he did uh, this is definitely you know a family-friendly movie so there's jokes for kids for adults another thing that I will say is that I, I really commend the movie on just having the goal of entertaining the audience. Um, there were, you know, definitely positive messages in the movie, you know, about like family and friendship, but it doesn't try to, you know, go into in-depth uh, political statements or anything like that, which it shouldn't, because this is, like I said, it's a family-friendly movie. You know, people go to these movies because they simply just want to be entertained. These movies are perfect in that they just, you go to the movie, especially for people who want to be nostalgic about playing these games back when they were younger, and then also maybe if they've got children, uh, kind of live in that nostalgia with them. Uh, all, all, they, all they're looking for is a, an entertaining story, and this, this was. It was just entertaining. And the action in the movie is done really well. Uh, keeping with the theme of the Sonic video games, you know, the movies, there's a lot of flashiness, explosions, you know, super speed and, and lights and sounds and whatnot. And so uh, there were not any dull moments and it wasn't overdone either. Um, it was always every, everything always had a purpose and they didn't have to rely so heavily on the CGI effects. Uh, except for when their main characters were concerned, because obviously their main characters are CGI creatures. Uh, and so with all that being said, just to wrap it up, I'll say this was a great movie. I would recommend checking it out in theaters while you still have a chance, because seeing some of this stuff on the big screen is its really good. Um, it's something you can, you know, go to with your family. I was laughing throughout the whole movie from start to finish. And if you are a fan of the video games, you know, long time or even more recent, I think you're really going to enjoy this because it's awesome seeing the video game characters that we grew up with on screen and actually part of cinematic stories that aren't, you know, confined to just the, the realm of a video game uh, or even maybe a cartoon on television because they do have some Sonic cartoons as well. Uh, it's just really awesome to see it in this format and on this big of a scale. And so go check it out for yourselves. Uh, I am recommending this one. It was just really great, lighthearted, funny, action-packed movie. So there you have it. That's all I have for you without going into some actual spoilers. 
actually, one last thing for the people who, you know, care about this, there is a mid-credit scene. So once the credits initially start, uh, wait a little bit and then you'll get a mid credit scene but then once that scene is over and the regular scrolling white credits come on uh, there is no scenes after that so there's no complete post credit scene but there is a mid credit scene and I will say it is exciting if you'll remember back to the first Sonic movie if you watched it the mid credit scene or post credit I think it was just a mid credit scene introduced Tails and that's how we knew that he was gonna be in the next Sonic movie. This mid credit scene is even more mind blowing than that one, in my opinion. Uh, wait for that, and then once that scene is over, you can just... So that's the last thing that I have for it. Uh, as always, you know, thanks for watching, and keep on keeping on.